Today, we're gonna to talk about setting up a new Isuzu NPR with an eight x 16 box bed. Uh, Morgan makes that. So stay tuned, let's go. If you wanna just see the final product and where I put everything, skip to the end, whatever gives you value. All right, let's rock and roll. So first I wanna talk about why we got this truck. This is Suzu NPR. We're gonna be real brief about this and focus on what we're doing in the back to set our equipment up. But we got this for efficiency purposes, right? One, no trailers one vehicle. Um, if you have a flat tire on the back, it's a dually, so you can still make it to somewhere. Um, you can fit a lot of guys in here, although that's not the purpose because we actually wanted a single cab. If you're looking for gas mileage, this is not the one for you. I don't know if you run a lawn care business if you're looking at gas mileage, but this thing loaded down, this is a gas model, okay? So we did not go with the diesel just because everything else that we have is gas. You got gas truck there, gas truck there. Now, We'll be rotating some of these things out. You got my truck, gas, to, they're all gas. And we've got gas on property, okay? So we want we don't wanna mix all that stuff up. I know diesels last longer, uh, however, they cost more. And so the warranty on these things is 150,000 miles. 150,000 miles, we bought this brand new. This is the first brand new truck that I've ever bought in my life. So this is not something that I've just, uh, I said, hey, we're going to get a new truck today. A lot of research um, went into this and a lot of planning. This is really what I want to talk about today. This Morgan box and how we're going to set it up. From the outside, you'll notice that this is a landscape or a lawn care truck and there is no uh, extra metal on the back with a dovetail. That's really cool and I'll show you why in a second. Another thing I like from the outside is these hinges right here, okay? To open them, pop, pop that and lift, okay? But you can lock they're internal locks. You don't have to have a separate lock. So what's cool about this is it's all self-contained. Typically you have a uh, dovetail on the end of it that adds extra length. Well, now you don't have that. Well, now we can get that length in the actual box itself. Okay, so that's a 16 foot box, almost eight feet wide, or almost exactly eight feet wide, a little bit less because there's three quarter inch plywood on the insides and the floor. I don't know how thick it is, but it's thick. You still have to be careful driving the box truck because you do not have a rear view mirror. The way that those Asuzus are set up, you can see really, really, really well. So we already built the shelf and we didn't document that process, but what I wanted to do here is make sure it's raised up enough to get a push mower on the front. We've got a 52 inch zero turn uh, V-Ride. We run all V-Rides, so it's gonna go right here. You're gonna fit side by side. There'll be a little gap here. We'll just keep our gas cans right here tied down with bungees. The rest of this shelf will just be for random tools that we need to use on occasion, but not that often. So we'll have the 30 inch push mower there, 52 inch there, and coming back here, the 60 on the back side. Now, this, this box is big enough to go 30, 52, and then you can run two, another 52 and a 60 sideways here. So if you wanna carry three big mowers in here, you absolutely can because there is enough room to come up in here and turn them sideways. We won't do that most of the time unless winter leaf cleanups may require several mowers. So when we're setting up a box truck, or when you're setting up your box truck, everybody does this different. A box truck, box trailer, utility trailer, anything enclosed, okay? So you wanna think about the tools that use them the most and put them on the sides towards the back. And also obviously like right here where I'm standing will be the mower that we utilize the most, which is probably the 60 inch mower or 61 inch b rod So it'll be on the back. Now, in reality, you can almost fit a 61 inch right beside that 30 inch push mower, okay? But you can't. So, if you run a 21 inch push mower, you could put your, a 61 there and a 61 here. Or if you use your 52 or 48 more than your 60, if you run a 21 inch there, you can put your 60 there and your 52 or your 48 here. So, let's get started. The first thing I want to do is secure the push mower, okay? So, we know that's where that's going, secure that push mower. The thing that will tear your push mower up the fastest is bouncing around in a trailer, 100%. So first thing we're gonna do is put some boards up around that, that way it's got a nice cozy spot to park up in. Okay, so we got our spot made for the push mower, just some two by fours to hold that in place, it'll hold it fine. Now we're gonna pull the 52 inch B rod up in here and just put a board across to block the tires in the back. We were gonna do a Ballard power locker, um, just too much trouble to drill through on this trailer, missing your support beams that go across. I'm just gonna put a piece of wood down to 
to hold it in place. If that doesn't work, we'll do some straps later to quick strap it. This is the enclosed trailer that we've been running out of. Um, this thing is on its last leg. If we run this thing for another three or four months, uh, it's just gonna be torn up. We're gonna be replacing stuff all over the place. So this is actually getting retired, not sold. Uh, my wife is actually inheriting this one for her business. She does remodels and flips and rentals and stuff. So we're gonna take this rack out of here and put it in the new one. The rack is up behind me. Uh, we don't have to worry about putting locks on there because the actual door on this truck locks. Now we need a hedge trimmer in here. We don't do a whole lot of like a uh, ton of big cleanups out of our lawn care trucks. We try to separate that out, run a crew for uh, lawn care stuff and then separate for cleanups. But we do like to have a couple rakes and shovels on every truck and a hedge trimmer. So we'll probably hang a hedge trimmer here up and down ways and then come over to this other side. We'll have our two blowers, our water rack in the back, and then a couple hand tool shovels and rakes over here. That's now we carry these little giants or fold out ladders or whatever you want to call them, just because it eliminates the need to carry two ladders. This one will do everything that you need it to do. We want to put it high just to eliminate it getting in the way because this is really something that we really are not going to use at all. And we put this in there. Now the backside sits on the shelf up there, which is totally fine. So now we'll just put a, a bungee uh, on that to hook it back into the wall so it won't go anywhere. It'll also keep it from sliding here. So we'll either do a bungee in this section or that section right Let's there. Let's go ahead and figure out where our water jug's gonna go because that's probably the thing here that you guys are gonna utilize the most besides the weed eaters and the blowers that are gonna go here. So we're gonna get our water jug about right here. Wanna make it easy to lift off and uh, Grab this thing where I want to put it too high, too low. We're good. What do you do with a blank canvas? You throw up some paint and then rain on the moon. I'm a man on a man on a man. What do you do with a blank canvas? Make it something you're proud of. Sing a song about things you love. Better work on we got left. One thing you'll notice is that there's not a bunch of fancy racks to hold stuff. The only things that were ordered were the uh, spool, the string spool to hold the weed eater line, and the water cooler holder. All the rack holders, the blower holders, the, uh, the rake holders, the hitch trimmer holder the ladder holder all those were bought from Lowe's from just like the shelving department final on the trailer weed eaters racks hitch trimmer rake and shovel on that side you got your ladder there it's all bungeed up secure tanks in the back that's a backpack battery sprayer uh, another couple of shovel rakes, blowers on the right side, water, tank, uh, water can, and spool of lime. The only thing I think that we're missing is a trash can. And not a great place to put it. This is a big old, tra not a trailer, big old truck body, but I think I'm gonna put it right there behind that push mower because we're not getting that thing out every time. It's only on about every eight or ninth yard. So that's the final on the side. 8 by 16 Isuzu NPR box with the Morgan landscape bit. Remember, love God, love others, and let your work reflect that.